What we all come to realize as we go through this journey called life is that you cannot rely on people the way you can rely on God. People will ultimately let you down at some point, and it's not because they are bad or evil or have negative intentions. It's because they're humans. Have you ever experienced what I call grade one disappointment and frustration after putting your trust in someone? The reason for this is because you place trust in man too much. I'm not saying you should not trust people or rely on them, but there are times you just have to focus on God instead. Relying on a man is only a way to expose yourself to frustration. People are human beings, and more often than not, they have their challenges too. They have things they are trying to work out in their lives, and they may fail you someday. This is why you have to rely on God. Have you been relying on people for a long time? Have you been facing frustration? Mankind is limited. They can't do everything for you. But God is unlimited. He will do everything for you. You are so special in the sight of God, He knows what you are going through. He knows how you feel. He even knows where you are in life right now. You are His number one priority, but you have to remove your trust on people and on this world and place it on God. So why should you rely on God? Firstly, He will never put you to shame. Isaiah 54 verse 4 Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth, and you will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. Note this, there is no disappointment in God. If you rely on God for anything, He will not disappoint you. You cannot be put to shame because you rely on God. So I ask you today, who are you relying on now? Are you tired of disappointment? Are you tired of frustration? Are you tired of putting your faith and your trust in this person and that person and this person and they all let you down? Put your trust in God. Rely on God. He has promised you, you will not be ashamed. That is a promise. No one else can make a promise like that to you. Secondly, there is nothing impossible for him to do. Like we always say that the only thing that God cannot do in this life is make a mistake. After this, there is nothing he cannot do. God is the Almighty. He created heaven and earth. Sometimes when I examine the earth or read about it, some formations, some landscapes baffle me. And I wonder how God did it. Even when I look at the human body, it is amazing all the systems it has in place, all working together. How was he able to design it so perfectly that the tiniest thing in our body has its own functions too? Tell me what God cannot do in this life. This is one of my favorite verses. I learned this when I was young. Jeremiah 32 verse 27. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? The answer to that question is no. There is nothing too hard for him. No situation too hopeless, no marriage too broken, no heart too broken, no life too destroyed for him. When we trust and turn to him, his arms are waiting and open. Our hope and help comes from Almighty God and Jesus Christ, for they are in control and will give us comfort and help in our days of trouble. Turning to God does not mean a sloppy glimpse in his direction, but focusing on his power. Let's just focus on God's power for a moment. He is the almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing God. He is the creator of heaven and earth. Everything you see on this earth and out in space is his and his creation. Winds and waves obey him. He is the God that has defeated giants. He has defeated armies. He has defeated the devil. Our God is an awesome God. He has separated the Red Sea. He has walked on water. He has healed the sick, raised the dead, given sight to the blind. He made fire come from heaven. God is able to do exceedingly above all that you can ask or think. 
You have no reason to be afraid. Trust in the power of God. David had faith in God's power. After facing many troubles and dangers, David in Psalm 27 1 declared, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Furthermore, in Psalms 34, 4 through 5, he says, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. He still encourages us to always trust in the Lord at all times, to pour out our hearts before him, because he is our refuge. Living in unstable and frightening times, Prophet Isaiah stated in Isaiah 26, 3 through 4, The Lord will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him, because he trusts in him. Trust in the Lord forever, for in him is everlasting strength. Jesus said to the disciples when they were frightened, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27. Paul said in Philippians 4, 6 through 7, Do not fret or have anxiety about anything. In every circumstance and in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. Why should you be relying on someone else when God is telling you there is nothing he cannot do? Why should you get used to being disappointed by people who are limited? Thirdly, it is a curse from God to rely on men and not God. Jeremiah 17 verse 5 Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. This must be shocking to you. Trusting in a person and not in God is like disregarding God who created humanity. How can you leave the one who made something and face the thing he made and trust that thing more than the maker that is capable of destroying that thing? This is a massive mistake. Let's read this verse again. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. I think we all don't want to be cursed. We want to be blessed. We can even reverse this verse to say, Blessed is the person who trusts in the Lord. It is a blessing to trust in the Lord. Because when you do, everything will always work out in your favor to bless you, to benefit you. Even bad situations ultimately work in your favor. A person can't do that for you, but God can. God should always be the first and only point of trust even if anyone promises you anything. You must tell God first and trust God for that thing. Isaiah 2 verse 22 Stop trusting in mere humans who have but a breath in their nostrils. Why hold them in esteem? These are the words of the Bible. The word of God instructs not to put our trust in humans. In a time like this, we need so many things in life. We need to trust God for all of these things because it's Him that can give them to us. What are the things we should rely on God for at a time like this? What are some of the things we can trust God with? We can trust God for our protection. Bad things are happening all around the world. Accidents, kidnappings, and so much more. There are so many frustrated and depressed people on the streets who are ready to inflict injuries on any innocent person. That is the reality of the world we live in. We walk on these streets every day. We get on the road, we go about our business, and we're okay. This is not because we take the safest route. It is because the promises of God that concern us are working in our lives. If you're wondering what these promises might be, there are many promises that God gave us in the scriptures, and one of them is the promise of protection. God promised to protect us and keep us away from evil. There are many verses of the scriptures that keep reminding us that God will keep us safe. Psalm 121 verses 4 through 8. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. 
he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. This is a great promise of safety. God promised that he would be there for us everywhere we go. Can humans make that same promise? The promises that God made are not just empty promises. The word of God never fails. Joshua 21 verse 45 There failed not out of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. Remember what God has told us in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. He said he has good plans for us. All of these plans that God has for us are not wicked plans. They are not the plans to see us face an accident or whatever bad thing is out there. When he said he would be with us everywhere we go, he meant it. God is not a man that he should lie. Men lie, women lie, but God does not lie. We can trust God for healing. Sicknesses are flying around the world right now. Only God can heal us and make us stronger. He is the master physician. After all, he made the human body. Many times we feel a headache and we might think it to be something small. It might not be something small. It is just God who helped us to take care of what it really was so that it doesn't become big. Many times God has healed us of sicknesses. He will still do it again and he will continue to do it. You have to rely on him for healing. Whatever the doctor says about your health, whatever the drug prescription is given to you, use them relying on God for a positive result. Do everything with faith in God. When they tell you what is wrong with you, maybe after a checkup, don't get upset. Don't let the devil rise fear to catch you, but instead rely on God for a perfect outcome for healing. Exodus 15 verse 26. He said, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you.